So I started reading about Michael Andrew breaking records about a year and a half ago, and I was very intrigued. And I thought, what is the catch? What is this kid doing? And then I began to hear more. You know, he doesn't use equipment. He does, only does 25s and 50s. Um, and then I heard he went pro. And I thought, this is really interesting. You know, this is crazy, but he's breaking all these records. And I thought, something's going on here that needs to be studied. And so I drove up to their house. So a year ago, I just drove to their house in Lawrence, Kansas, and they were awesome. And they welcomed me in their home, and I watched a practice. I actually did some of the sets with them. And I gotta tell you, I can only do about 625s at Michael's pace. And then I died. Because you're supposed to do like, you know, 20 or 25 or 30. I did six, and I died like a pig. It was the most painful thing I had ever done. But I was intrigued. I thought, okay, there's, there's something going on here. So I kept studying, I kept talking to the Andrew family, and, uh, and I started doing it myself. And so I, it was now f then February, March, April, and I was getting ready for a Masters Nationals. So I basically had two and a half months to get ready. And so I went to the USRPT convention in January, got more equipped to, to apply this, and I was gonna try and do it right, but I, I only did 20 minutes in the morning for February, March, and April. So I didn't do it right, because you're supposed to do 40 minutes in the morning, 40 minutes at night, well I only had 20 minutes in the morning. So I do my 25s and my 50s for 20 minutes in the morning. I go to Masters Nationals in April. I become the fastest man in the 50 free and the 100 free. I break the records in the 40 to 45 age group. I do my fastest time in 10 years. 20.8, 45.1, and I broke the 100 IM record to boot. I did, did a few 25s breast back and fly just to work on my IM. So the point is, it worked. And I only had 20 minutes, so I was able to do my business uh, I didn't fall asleep during the day, and I was so excited, and I did my best times. So now I'm, I'm even more fired up. And then right after that, April, May, June, and July, I got asked to guest coach a team in my town of Oklahoma City. So I gave them a USRPT hybrid, because to do straight USRPT would have freaked them out to go from five, six grand down to two grand. So I gave them a hybrid, but the same concepts, perfect technique, race pace, very motivated, very excited, recovery, you know, all the USRPT principles. And 80% of the team did best times. So they're happy, they're swimming fast. And so obviously doing USRPT with a group of 30 kids, with one coach and 30 kids, is tricky and it takes practice and it's something we're still working out. But the concepts, the USRPT concepts of perfect technique, race pace, being happy and motivated, recovering and being able to have a life, they work and I'm so excited. I'm training for Masters Nationals next year. Um, I'm helping, still helping this team in Oklahoma City. So, you know, I think it's the wave of the future. I think it's gonna revolutionize the sport. So I encourage everybody to join the revolution, the USRPT revolution.